Good morning. Happy Sunday. So yesterday I didn't do a, a weigh-in because I knew it would be a false number because I had my tooth pulled the day before so I wasn't stuffing my face as much as I usually do. So today um, I'll let you know that when I started this weight loss journey channel uh, on March the 30th I believe I weighed that day 179.4. And today I'm pleased to announce that I am 176.4. So I guess a weight loss of three pounds over the last two weeks, you know, and of course it's gone way up and it's got dipped a little down. Um, so that's normal. Uh, I've said before, I'm one of these people that will weigh myself every day because I need to keep on top of things. Um, part of what happened to me <laughs> that I got so hu huger than usual is that uh, my scale broke and I've, you know, I think I said this in my very first video that my, you know, my scale just kind of blew up after all these years. And I didn't get a new one because I just moved into a new place and it was just one more expense and blah, blah. It wasn't going to the gym and, and boom. Next thing I knew when I weighed myself somewhere as 192 pounds and I know I got even bigger after that because um, I just stopped looking because I could, you know, you can tell by your clothes and your body that you know I don't think I ever got to 200 but anyway so but this you know in recent months I was like it was around February yeah so it's a three pound weight loss but in my mind it's about a 15 pound weight loss um, so I'm super thrilled as long as the numbers keep going down I'll be good and uh, yeah so yesterday on my Facebook uh, I posted a link to this video and uh, one of my friends, uh, Jehovah, who actually, Jehovah Findler, he's actually my very first patron on Patreon. <laughs> so hey, thank you. Um, he's been hanging in with me all these years. He's seen my battles. And uh, so he posted on my Facebook that I should try eating watermelon for breakfast and uh, jalapenos um, at dinner time. Um, I can't really do the jalapeno thing. Uh, I do eat spicy stuff, like I eat tacos all the time. Uh, but I use mild salsa and stuff because uh, I do find um, I can eat a couple jalapenos. But I will add them back in and see how it goes. Because uh, I did have my gallbladder out and so spicy things were kind of iffy for a few years there. But I seem to be tolerating things better, so I'm going to try that. And yesterday, it was so gorgeous here. Um, I went for a couple of walks. So one of the walks I walked to uh, our local vegetables stand. That's about a mile to get to walk there and back. And uh, they didn't have any watermelon, but I bought some spinach and uh, green beans and stuff. So I put the spinach into uh, my um, taco lettuce mix thing. Because um, when I eat tacos, I eat them like so much because uh, I have some meat. And now I'm making it with the blue, uh, the Loblaws blue mix, so it's 30% less salt and stuff. And it doesn't taste too bad. It's very cumin heavy, and I like cumin, so, so it's not quite like the El Paso ones, which I love. I'm addicted to. I guess it's the salt I'm addicted to with tacos. I don't know. And I buy the President's Choice Salsa, and if you think in Weight Watchers terms, it's free because the President's Choice Salsa doesn't really have calories in it it's very simple food um, other salsas have a lot of calories because of how they make them but the president's choice um, mild salsa chunky doesn't you know it's like eating a bowl of tomatoes with a bit of spice so that's you can so I use like half a jar when I have tacos so how I make myself eat tacos is I get I like the crunchy shells so I'll get two the crunchy shells heat them in the oven uh, toaster oven Put the cheese in the um, burger and then I pile like a few handfuls of lettuce and this time lettuce spinach on top so I have to dig through the lettuce and stuff to get to the good stuff so it forces me to eat all like seriously a couple cups of lettuce like it's like a field of giant bowl of lettuce like a taco salad really and uh, yeah so that's how I eat the tacos and uh, if I have olives, I put tons of olives on. I didn't have olives uh, right now. And yeah, so maybe I'll add a couple slices of jalapenos uh, in the future when I do that. I used to put lots of jalapenos on, but then get stomach aches because uh, I do love spicy hot food. So yeah, uh, so I'm going to try that out. I'm going to try the watermelon. So today I'm going to... Um, 
had a lot of work to do today. I'm trying to finish a book by the end of the week. And uh, I'm going to pop out in the car this time and go to a grocery store at a Costco and check out the watermelon situation and see if that helps. I do love watermelon and uh, it, it's easy for me to eat my, my tooth. I think uh, life's going to get better too because even though I have a little bit of achiness from where my tooth was actually pulled, um, I can feel, I feel better already. Like the poison has left the body. So I was in pain for a couple of years uh, from that infected tooth and uh, I just, you know, it, it as I explained yesterday, the complications of dental things in Ontario when you don't have a few hundred dollars uh, to spend. So yeah, anyways, have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching me on my weight loss journey. And yeah, so today I'm 176.4, which is still an outrageous number for someone of my height, but it's going down instead of up and that's all I care about today. <laughs> Bye.